Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Straight to Blu-ray. My name is James, and it is time for another 4K review video. This is part of my Average James video series, if you've never seen one of these. Um, basically, I have a 4K TV, I have a 4K Blu-ray player, I do have surround sound, I do have Atmos as part of that surround sound. It isn't the fanciest setup in the world, but it's definitely a nice little system there. Um, so this is kind of what the average person can expect if you happen to watch uh, the 4K movie I'm going to be going over, or any of the ones in any of my reviews. Uh, so an average person's or an average James uh, review. Uh, today's movie that I'm going to go over, this one actually comes from Vinegar Syndrome. I just got it in the other day. This is one of those ones I watched a whole bunch as a kid. It isn't like super, super popular, um, but it is a really cool movie. I haven't seen it. And that is going to be the 4K edition of Daryl. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. Before I actually get into Daryl and all the special features and goodness and how it looked and all that good stuff, I just wanted to thank everybody that is a member, subscriber to the channel. I just passed the 1,000 subscriber mark uh, earlier this week from recording this, so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's, you know, helped... Uh, you know, watch these videos, help me kind of grow, you know, little by little. Um, it's definitely appreciated, especially everybody that's been here since day one. Uh, definitely appreciate you all, your support and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, just passed a thousand the other day. Um, if you're actually new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. I post movie related videos at least a couple times a week on various movie related topics, including some of my 4k reviews that I've gotten back into. Um, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoy this. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've seen either just seen Daryl or if you checked out the uh, 4K edition of it. Uh, and everybody that has, like I said, thank you so much. Gonna just kind of hit that 1,000 and just moving on to 2,000 now. Um, but let's go ahead and get into today's video, the whole reason, and that's going to be the 4K review. Like I said, this is from Vinegar Syndrome. It is Daryl from the early 80s. I want to say 84, 85. I think it was 85. Uh, this one came out. Like I said, this isn't a super popular movie. Um, it, it's it's one that I watched a lot as a kid. Uh, so when I go over this, there may be slightly, you know, a little bit of spoilers on this one. Um, you know, uh, I'm not going to give away the entire movie. Um, but Daryl, obviously, as you can see by the um, uh, title there, is an acronym. Uh, and I'll just kind of give you this. doesn't really, I guess, have because it's not the traditional box. I'll go ahead and show it to you actually real quick. This is the big one that's kind of like the special edition one there is the spine there. And uh, there we have the back. Um, I'll go ahead and go into it and show you what everything looks like inside in a little bit. But um, there's nothing on the back like description. So I'm going to basically give you my kind of synopsis of what the movie's about if you haven't actually had, you know, heard of it or happened to see it. Um, it's got uh, this here. This uh, this is Barrett Oliver. He plays Darrow in this one. You might also recognize him um as the kid in The NeverEnding Story, the one reading the book. Um, he's also the uh, same character in there, uh, or same person that's in that. Uh, basically, this is this kid, Daryl actually stands for Data Analyzing Robot Youth Life Form. He's a, a robot, android, whatever you want to call it, um, in this one. So he's not a real boy. So basically, it begins where somebody, you know, scientists have broken him out of the facility that he's in. Um, and, uh, you know, just, I, I, you know, it's a government facility. They wanted, they don't really go into why too much he's breaking him out. I'm sure just so he can kind of experience life as a boy. Um, but he breaks out. He has amnesia. He doesn't, you know, remember where he comes from or any of that good stuff. You know, they find him uh, up in the mountains after he's, well, he's being chased as they're breaking, you know, as they, these, whoever breaks him out gets chased. Daryl gets away. And he gets, you know, in the woods, somebody finds him, and then he's given to a foster family, um, and they, you know, basically raise him, you know, or start to try to raise him and all that good stuff. And of course, you know, you've got the, the military looking for him and all that. And then, you know, like I said, I'm not going to get into all the, you know, I don't want to spoil everything for you, but that's kind of the, the plot of it. you got this android boy who's never really experienced life outside of the compound that he's in and he's with this family and experiencing it and of course it's an 80s movie with kids in it so the the the, the boy next door becomes his best friend he's kind of the smart ass kid i think every 80s movie that had like a, a kid you know or, or kids this age had to have the one smart ass kid I, I don't know what it is the kind of like the chunk from the goonies or if you saw 16 candles the brother of uh you know of uh what's her oh my god i can't molly ringwald her, her little brother in that one there's always just the smart ass kid that's in all these no different here 
Um, but that's the, kind of the premise of the movie. Like I said, this wasn't like some big blockbuster or anything like that in the in theaters, but it is a cool little cute movie. Um, the end of it kind of gets ever so slightly ridiculous. You know, it's a little over the top, uh, unbelievable-ish type. Not that, you know, a boy android is super believable, but, you know, it, 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 it's a little over the top at the end. But overall, it's a good movie. Um, but like I said, this is obviously the 4K. Um, there wasn't even a Blu-ray. This is kind of like Cloak and Dagger. Um, it, it was on DVD forever and I do have the DVD of this and they just kind of got that jump right up to 4k from vinegar syndrome Same thing with cloak and dagger um, There is a blu-ray copy of this as well So you, you do get a 4k and a blu-ray on this one So if you want to see the blu-ray, um, it is available. Like I said, I showed you the box here It just kind of opens on the side. I'm gonna try to do this without everything falling out. It just well, Let me do it first here <laughs> Get a little grip. So it just kind of opens. It's, it's like a magnetic kind of seal there or I think there's some magnets in there, and it just opens up on the side like that. So this is what the kind of interior looks like. And then, of course, they got this little, little guy here, so you can easily pull stuff out. So when you pull it out, you do get this. And this is the exact same cover that is with the DVD. And you get that there. And then you get the data analyzing robot youth life form right there. And I'll go ahead and take, this is kind of like a, um, this here, it's more, it's not a slip cover, it's more of like a slip box. I'd say like the Scream Factory stuff that like Halloween and some Child's Play came in. It's kind of like that same material. Um, it's a, it, because it's more of a cover, it slips on and off instead of sliding in on one side like those do. It's a little less firm, but it's, I think it's basically that same material. Um, and then you've got here is the... Uh, front which is you know, the same as the other and there's the back you got your spine there and oh I just noticed the plastics kind of wonky on that then kind of the inside uh, artwork there so yeah pretty cool thing there and then also on the inside included with that like I said you get that and then you get um, I should have used something to set all this stuff down with put a table next to me you get this little booklet here kind of comes with it it's mainly um let's see if i can set this aside without getting way too close to the camera um just got like a lot of pictures there are some stories i think it's from the, the either the director or the writer so you've got you know some stories in there pictures all that good stuff you know just one of those kind of uh added you know included little special features um not loaded down as far as like the disc goes. It's not loaded with special features as far as um, that you can watch that come with the movie. Um, it does, actually gotta pull it out. So kind of go over, it's it's only on the back of this where you get the, where it lists the special features. I'm gonna take my glasses off because I'm getting old. Uh, let's see, so basically 4K, yeah, it basically tells you to get the 4K disc, you know. Um, it's an HDR, so there is no, um, there's no Dolby Vision on this one. Yeah, it's newly restored from a 35 millimeter original camera negative, um, English stereo soundtrack along with a commentary track with director Simon Winsor. Uh, you also get the Blu-ray, obviously like I told you before, containing everything on the uh, 4K disc plus the following special features. Uh, rescued from the scrapyard, the making of Daryl, which is 55 minutes long, says it's a making of a documentary from 2023 featuring interviews with director Simon Winsor, co-writer David Ambrose, co-writer Alan Scott, visual effects supervisor Michael L. Fink, co-producer Gabrielle Kelly, costume designer Shay Cunliffe, supervising editor Adrian Carr, and film music historian Jeff Bond. Uh, you get promotional image gallery, theatrical trailer, video trailer, TV spot number one, and TV spot number two. It is nice that they did that, like a little making of featurette. Um, it sure would be nice if any of the actors in the movie were included in that making of featurette. It seems like they included pretty much everybody but anybody that actually starred in this. Um, so that kind of, you know, would have been nice if, if uh, you know, some of the actors were part of that. But, you know, hey, I guess, you know, can't be too, too choosy. This is a boutique label one. Um, I didn't actually watch that. Uh, I'll probably watch that a little bit later on, but I just didn't have the time to actually watch that. And I wanted to go ahead and at least post the... My thoughts on the actual, you know, 4K uh, edition of it. Um, actually, we're getting kind of dark here, too. Let me see if I can't uh, lighten it up here a little bit. Getting cloudy outside. I, I normally use just, like, you know, outside lights, so 
it gets cloudy sometimes and get a little a little dark in here okay um but as far as the picture quality like you know like i said the picture quality on this it, it, the previous version that i saw was a dvd so we're going from dvd to 4k and, and there's obviously a very big jump it definitely looks a lot better on the 4k edition than the dvd did um as for the hdr i it it, there are some colors, you know, some pretty bright colors in this one, especially at the beginning when he's kind of outside and, you know, uh, the little chase scene or whatever. The HD, the colors were very, very vibrant in this one, especially reds. Those reds were like super red. I don't know how, it's, how else to describe it, but it was like the reddest I've ever seen something, almost like to the point where it like it didn't look realistic-y. I mean, I don't know. It's just like, you know, there was a fire truck ridiculously red. And then, the, you know, the American flag, very, very red. Um, not, I mean, I just, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know if it's not necessarily bad. It's just those reds really stood out. It was definitely very vibrant on the HDR. They, they went, you know, heavy on, on the, uh, you know, the, the, the different colors and the, and the color palette in this one. You're definitely going to notice a big uh, difference between that and the DVD. Um, I thought the picture quality looked really good. Um, there is a good amount of grain in this, uh, especially towards the beginning. And in certain scenes, there is definitely a hefty amount of grain, film grain in this. So if you happen to not like film grain, this, you know, this may not be as much your cup of tea. Still, I mean, obviously over the a DVD, it's going to be a lot better. But definitely uh, not any, you know, a ton of digital noise reduction because there, there was some serious... Uh, some serious grain working on this one, but I mean, it's nothing that that's that's out of place. It's I mean, it is an 80s movie, you know. I expect it to have that, you know. When it was shot on film, you kind of expect it to have that film grain, but it is definitely there. If you you know, like I said, if you happen to be one of those people that just totally hates it, um, it is definitely present there. Um, but overall, I th I mean, obviously, like I said, you're going from DVD to 4K. The picture quality is going to look a lot better. Colors were a lot more vibrant. Um, definitely the best it has looked. I didn't watch the Blu-ray version of it. Um, but the 4K version of it, definitely uh, much, much improvement, uh, as you would expect over a DVD. Um, as far as the audio, um, I thought it was a pretty good job. It's not the fanciest audio track. Um, when the uh, helicopter, there's a chase scene involving, the, you know, obviously him taking Daryl away at the beginning and there's a helicopter involved. Uh, I thought the sound was really good there. There is a bit of an issue because me, if you if you're an apartment person like myself, you live in an apartment, you kind of have to worry about your neighbors. The sounds of action scenes to the sounds of audio, like just dialogue, is very. There's a big difference. You know, it's not similar. This is one of those ones where you're going to have to turn it down when the the action's going on, and then when the dialogue is, you know, people are talking, you're going to have to turn it back up. For some reason, it, it it seemed to me that as the movie went on, it got a little bit worse. I mean, obviously, this isn't super action heavy, um, but it seemed to get a little bit worse as the movie went on. Like the, the dialogue would be much would seem a lot lower than like the the sound effects and everything going on, which was a little bit annoying. Um, if you live in a house where you just want to crank this sucker up, you got your own little home theater set up, then you're then you're good to go. But there's definitely a, a large uh, volume difference between the action background. Uh, sounds and the dialogue um, it wasn't the best like I said it, this doesn't have any kind of amazing DTS I think it was just stereo basically from I, I don't remember what, exactly what it said but it, you're not getting any kind of super super fancy you're definitely not getting Atmos um, but uh, you know other than that dialogue issue I, I thought it was okay like I said the the background sounds definitely sounded nice um, you just have to if you live in an apartment you just have to make sure that you don't piss off the neighbors and have it too too loud so just if you're going to watch it and you live in an apartment you got a, any kind of surround sound just make sure make sure you got that remote control nearby so you can kind of adjust the volume um but overall um this is you know it, it's definitely like i said it heads and, and shoulders above you know anything that the dvd was um you know this is the like i said this is the special edition it's that thicker one um, I think they're releasing just the 4K, like just the disc without the kind of special, you know, packaging or anything like that um, in a little bit. But this definitely isn't cheap. Uh, I want to say I paid like $45 for this. Um, so, you know, if you're not a fan of Daryl, that might be a little steep for you. Uh, I Like I said, I, you know, watched this a whole bunch as a kid. So it, it was one of those ones like kind of like Cloak and Dagger. These aren't hugely successful movies, but if you so happen to like them and you're a big fan of them, you want to get kind of like the whole set, then, you know, that's that's where that comes into play. 
Um, I would imagine that just the movie alone, if they have if, when they release that, probably in the thirties, thirty to thirty five dollars ish. I would imagine. Um, but it definitely, like I said, it is a little pricey if you want to get the, the uh, you know, the bigger set. And I mean, honestly, other than the booklet, it's and and the packaging here, you're not getting a ton in it. Um, so that's kind of something you'd have to decide for yourself. Um, but overall, as far as, you know, upgrading, uh, absolutely. If you're a fan of Daryl, whether you get this or just the movie itself, definitely, definitely, uh, I would recommend getting the upgraded version over the DVD. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for another episode of four, uh, my 4K reviews, average James 4K reviews, if you will. Uh, like I say, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, have you seen Daryl uh, or did you actually pick up? The uh, Vinegar Syndrome on 4K. What did you think about it? And if uh, you've just seen the movie, is it something you're looking forward to picking up on 4K? Let me know that in the comments down below. And uh, as always, everybody, thanks so much for watching. And I will see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.